Hey, what's up guys, Crunchy Cookie here, and welcome on back to a brand new tutorial, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a money transfer to kind of command creation, so uh, let's get right into it. So first things first, let me showcase the actual um, thing. So when I get a book, like uh, any any kind of book, whatever it is, uh, actually, like it, it's uh, it's a specific book. Uh, which is data of three so uh, make sure you're doing that but when I have the book in my hand it will then showcase what you're meant what you can do and it's a money transfer thing so you can add money to your thing like this is basically trading for uh, for whatever you want and basically all you gotta do is look down and it will trade you know and uh, you can add like I don't know a thousand, but like I don't have a thousand as you see on the side of the screen. I do not have a thousand cash, so if I do this, it will say insufficient funds, and I can't do that. But if I give myself some money, so if I do slash slash scoreboard players set at s cash, and then like I don't know ten thousand, and then I just go back in here. And if you want to like select things, it's uh, down on the, you just look down at the ground. And when you want to actually, you know, confirm what you want to do, you look up. So I look up, boom. And as you see there, I've just added a thousand cash to my, um, to my little money transfer thing. I can always reset this and get my money back. And you can actually, I think, uh, you can just like leave this be. You can just leave this be and come back to it at any point. So you could kind of just like have a preset, like you could just leave this there. It's it's kind of like a bank actually, because you could just you can just get my, your money back and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Uh, but you can go you 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 can look down again, and you can confirm trade. But currently I don't have anyone to trade with, so uh, I can't really do that and showcase that for you guys. But what I can show you is the reset button. So if I go back down here. And I want to reset and get my thousand back. I can reset it, it, gives me my cash back, and I can do this again. I can put in ten. I can put in ones if I can get it. So it's, <laughs> it'll, it'll look pretty funny because it's a, like everyone's just looking up and down when they're doing it. And uh, there's a little bit of timing involved, but it's fine. And you can actually just exit if you don't want to reset or anything. So if I exit there he doesn't actually like exit the thing it just like resets you without needing you to exit you know so that's it's it's nice but anyways let's get right into the tutorial let's do it all right to start things off straight away you're gonna want to do this command which is essentially um if you're holding the book in your hand and you're looking down uh, it will add a scoreboard which is money GUI and the reason why I named it that is because it was for uh, money GUI you know a uh, GUI is the uh, the little like thing that pops up on your screen that's called a GUI and money is you know it's a money transfer GUI so you know that's what that's what I named it for and uh, you can do you can do that if you don't know how to make a scoreboard just do slash scoreboard objective add and then Whatever you want to name it, I named it Money GUI, and then uh, Dummy. I uh, so yeah, you do that, and I'm not gonna read out the entire like command. You can, can just pause the screen here, copy it in, copy it. You can have not every item, but you can have some items. It's a lot of testing. You can just test it to see which one works and which one doesn't. But I found out that the book is like the most useful. Because it's like, you can actually use the data values and change it and it works, so it's nice. Like, it doesn't work with like normal books, so if I grab this book, it doesn't work. But, if I grab this book, it does, so it's nice. The next command is going to be uh, this one, which is playing the sound random orb. It's the same command from before, except we changed, this fr changed it from scoreboard to play a sound random dot orb at s. And that's, that's all we've done. It's a chain conditional always active command. And this is a repeating always active. With a delay tick uh, tick delay of 10 ticks. And execute on first is turned off. Next command is uh, a pretty complex command. 
Now, there's a whole lot of things that you could do for this. This is like, this is the GUI, guys, okay? There's a whole lot of things you could do with this. Um, I think I'll just leave this in the description. This whole thing. Um, if you want to take it, you know, if you want it. But, uh, the way you could do this yourself is the title raw command. So you do slash title, and then raw, uh, at s, or at a, whatever. This is just an example, you don't have to do at s. And then you do this, raw text, that, and boom. But you also want to, uh, I actually forgot, you want to put an action bar here. action bar and that should be good yeah look uh if i just say like i don't know hi it will pop up in chat and it's so cool it's very customizable it's better than the title command so uh yeah it's better at all all always and this is just displaying it so whenever i have a book in my hand it displays this so it's really cool yeah Okay, so now we're going to get into the actual, like, whole thing. So it starts off as one, you know, when it says plus one dollar. You press this, or you click on this. And what I've done is, uh, you can see up there, title row, at A, scores, money, G-U-Y, one. And all I've done is change the color of the first one. I don't know if you can see it. But I've changed it. And, yeah. That's literally all you do. You just change it from being white to green to indicate that you're selecting it. So, as you can see, one has been selected and it is green. So, yeah. One thing I will say is the, that there is an objective in this title row, which is cash GUI. And that's how I display the money down below being added up. Uh, and there's a whole separate thing for this. It's called cash GUI it's it's completely separate to the cache on the side of the screen uh, but it is a uh, it's pretty cool and it's how you store your cache and this is a lot of repetitive you're just changing the number at the top and then changing the color for each things and reverting the other one so uh, it's literally a whole bunch of just like copying changing numbers copying changing numbers that sort of thing and then this one's the same thing, reset, exit, and confirm trade. Literally just changing a number and adding color. And this next command is uh, uh, basically when a player has reached money GUI 10 and above, just to fix any bugs, if anything, like if you get like 12 or anything, I don't know. Uh, then you will reset you back to money GUI 1. And the... What that looks like is when you're scrolling through the thing and you reach the end, it shall it will reset you to the top. That is what that's what ha what that's what this thing does. This what this command. This is a lot of repeating commands. So I'm gonna show you the first one and the second one so you can get an idea of what the copying looks like, and then the rest is just copying. You know, just changing some numbers, changing things. So the first command is basically the. The command that we did for detecting if you have a book in your hand and you're looking down except this is reversed now see before it said r x m now it's saying r x so that is basically uh wherever you're looking vertically and minus 85 detects if you're looking up and if you're looking up it then detects if you it detects if you have a uh, score of money gui one and if you do then it will detect if you have cash one or above and if you do then it's gonna add one to cash gui like i said cash gui is how you store money so if it detects that you have cash equals one then it will add that to cash gui so you're storing your money so uh, like let me do, let me just show this real quick so for the hundred it detects that i have uh, a money GUI of uh, I think it's three uh, if it is yeah 
and then it will detect if I have 100 and above, and if I do, it will add 100 cash to the cash GUI. So if I do this, it will add 100, and it will now, my cash is now, my cash stored in the GUI is now 125, and uh, yeah, the next command is just the same thing, except we're going to be resetting your money GUI back to zero, so it resets the whole thing. And that's uh, chain conditional, always active, and this is a repeating always active command, zero ticks, delay, zero tick, delay. And the next and last command for this is the same command, except we removed the money GUI from this, and instead all we have is the cache, because what we're going to be doing is removing one cache from the player who has one dot dot cache and is looking up and has a book in their hand. It's a lot of, uh, you know, variables. And that's a chain condition always active. And as I said, you just copy and paste this. So the next command, like I'm going to show you, is the same thing except we've changed it from money GUI 1 to money GUI 2. And same with the cache. I've changed the cache from uh, 1 to 10. And the dot dot just means 10 or above. So if you have 10 or more, 10 or more cache, then it will it will function. And then it runs the same command from before. It adds it to cache GUI. And it's the same thing here. Changes uh, your money GUI back to zero. Then it changes this back. Uh, or it removes cash, 10 cash from your, uh, from your scoreboard. And uh, yeah, that is the whole copy and paste thing. This is for if you have money. If you do not have money. Like I'm going to show you if I want to put in 10,000. But I actually don't have 10,000. It will say insufficient funds, which just means I don't have enough money to uh, deposit that into the thing. And the way I do this is the first command is literally just a, a tell raw command. And uh, literally, uh, it's the money GUI equals one, cash equals zero. So if you have no cash, you will not be able to deposit one dollar into your money thing bank. And, uh, yeah, you, you won't be able to add it. And it will let you know that you can't. So it says insufficient funds. The next one is the same command, except we're doing a play sound command, which is no dot ba base. I should have added at S at the end, but it's fine. I don't think you need it. Uh, if you do, then let me know in the comments, because I didn't add it. Uh, so, yeah. And the last final command is just resetting the money GUI back to zero. And it's the same command from before, except we're changing the money GUI to zero. So, yeah. And uh, like I said before, it's a copy and paste type th dealio thing. Uh, except it's a little bit different when you get to the double digit numbers. So, for $10, if you do not have any, if you do not have $10, in your cash account whatever and you have a money GUI equals two uh, by the way if you're if you're wanting to detect if you have less than 10 you do 0 dot dot 9 which just means if you have zero cash to nine cash and if you do then it will activate this telling you that you have insufficient funds and you just repeat repeat the process, changing the adding a nine to each of these. So it goes from 0 0.9 to 0 0.99, 0 0.9999, and it continues. Blah 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 blah. And yeah, that's the only thing that changes with these things. Uh, but other than that, that is literally the money thing. So uh, adding money to your thing, and that's all it is. You can add a sound effect. I didn't add a sound effect for this uh, adding money thing, but if you do, you want, you can do that, you know? And uh, now what we're going to get onto is the reset command and the exit command, but then also the confirm transfer. Now, if this does not work for you, the confirm transfer it is most likely because you don't have a player next to you in a radius of four, but if you do, please Join the Discord, you can ask me for questions on this whole money transfer thing, and uh, yeah, I can definitely help you with it. And uh, yeah, so let's head into the reset command. Alright, so, what you're gonna do, 
is detect if you have a money GUI of eight, which is when you are when you have selected the uh, the reset command or the exit command because it's the exiting command, and also we're detecting if the player is looking up and has a book in their hand, same as before, uh, obviously you know, and we're playing this uh, we're playing the sound note by, uh, bass, and then the last the next command is just resetting uh, money GUI to zero. Same command, but changing the, the the run command. By the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but this is the new execute command. I've seen a lot of people complaining about this command and not liking it because it's, like, different from before. The new execute command is actually so much better, but so much more complex in so many ways. So, if you do want me to make a tutorial on the execute command, I'll uh, sure do it, I guess. It's not that hard to learn, and, uh, yeah, it's fairly easy. Uh, now, the reset command is fairly a bit more complex because you're get taking the money from cash your your cash GUI, putting it in your cash, then removing or resetting the cash GUI uh, to zero, and then yeah, resetting you back to money GUI zero. So, the first command is playing the note ba bass. We just do this. It's a thing we do. Uh, same command from before, except you're changing it from an 8 to a 7 for money GUI. Um, then you do a chain conditional always active command. Now, this is the complex part. Same command from before, except we're doing a scoreboard at the end of it. So, we're doing slash scoreboard players operation. If you don't know if you don't know what operation does it's, it's fine you just copy this whole command down and you're fine okay uh, it's all about scoreboards as well so if your cash or whatever your currency it, uh, you put your currency in this and then you know you put the cash GUI whatever you want to call it into this so it's scoreboard players operation at s cash plus equals at s cash GUI so what is that doing uh, actually is it is taking the cash GUI money and then it's adding that to your cash so that is exactly what it's doing it's copying your cash GUI's money into your cash and so this is what that looks like it, uh, it just removes the money adds it back to your bank and I actually started off with 10,000, we're back at exactly 10,000. So, it's very good, very awesome. And this is just resetting cash GUI to zero. And this is just resetting you to money GUI zero. Now, the last and final part of this video, which may be the hardest for you guys to see, see fully you might need to get a friend or something to help out with this to see if it works but you get the repeating command and you do this which is just playing the sound random level up money gui equals nine which just is like a, like we know before you know there's a chain command you go in here and okay this is the first thing that may actually confuse you because it's a little, actually, it's uh, quite a bit complex for some people. It's a tag. So, <laughs> I know, I know, the tag. Oh my god, a tag. It's, it's a tag. Most terrifying thing ever. No. So, it's the same command for before, but the, la the last command is a tag. Slash tag at s add host m g u y. So, the host of the money g u y. Then... It will, um, do, it's the same command before, but at the end, we're doing this, which is doing slash scoreboard, players operation, at P, so the closest player to the host, um, so the closest player to you, essentially, um, will receive cash, the cash, basically, from you. That is essentially what is happening. And then, you, you then go ahead and remove the tag from the player. You then remove 
all the money from the cash GUI and then you finally reset their money GUI to zero and that is the entire entire command uh, if you want me to I'll, I'll look in these a little bit more I kind of went fast there at the end but uh, you guys can just like look at them pause the video whatever you want to do and uh, yeah that is literally the entire thing uh, this may have been a long video guys so hopefully you uh, you stuck around to the end and you know you now know how to make a money trading system with a GUI and uh, yeah that's it's pretty goddamn cool but anyways guys that's gonna wrap up today's video and if you did enjoy it a like would be much appreciated and subscribing means the world to me uh we're actually almost at 900 subs which is insane go on guys hit that subscribe button and uh yeah uh join the discord down below if you have any questions about the commands i will definitely be able to help you there and uh yeah guys i'll see you in the next tutorial peace i can take you higher.